So greetings from Pennsylvania once again. It's an absolutely beautiful uh, Saturday after. Well, it's still Saturday morning. Getting close to Saturday afternoon, September 25th. Down to low 70s today. But we're out here in Lehigh County, in southeastern Pennsylvania, and we're at the Trexler Nature Preserve. I was here last spring. This is the video where we we saw the bison and the elk down that way. I think the Lehigh the Lehigh Valley Zoo is down that way too. But we're gonna hike something today called the Border Trail. I know it was recommended to me last time I was here and I've kind of been planning on coming here to do that hike and today's the day. So let me show you the map, what we're doing today. Yeah, so lots of cars here. There's different places to park here. I park where the Education Center, I believe it's called, is up there somewhere. But here's our Pennsylvania map. As always, we're all the way over here in, uh, up here in Lehigh County. And the preserve is kind of right in this area here somewhere. So that's where we are and here's the map of the preserve itself. Get my camera shadow out of the way. We're parked yeah, right here at the Truxler Environmental Center and we're gonna hike this Red Blaze Trail that goes all the way around the preserve. I think it's about eight miles. So that's the plan. All right, here he says, to the border, Truxler Border Trail. All in the Red Blazes. Right here by the parking lot. Yeah, Naomi's all the way up there. All right, let's get going. Check the time. Yeah, it's about it's 11 o'clock. So it should be roughly, you know, eight miles. So it should do about four or five hours, depending on my take breaks I take and how slow I go. It's gonna take my time, no rush. Got all afternoon. A lot of people out here today, but hopefully we can still find some wildlife. Some quiet spots, maybe. Not a bad start to a trail. Got some views of the countryside out there. I know the person that recommended this trail me said that you would get some pretty cool views. You know, it's not, you're not like on a mountain getting a huge overlook, but it's still nice to get some open open views. Looks like an old orchard going through here. Yeah, speaking of orchard, we would be correct on that. Look, got apples up there. That tree right there. Don't look like they're quite ripe. We'll just let them go. The wildlife eat those. Yeah, it's my first time on this trail. I've never been on any part of this trail yet, so the whole thing will be new to me. Which I kind of like. I like, you know, hiking new places, new trails. You know, each turn is kind of a an adventure. You don't know what's going to be around the corner because you haven't been here before. So obviously there are other trails in this preserve. Right there's one, it's got a, there's a blue blaze trail right there. It's got a marker there, but we're staying on the red blazed trail. Oh, there's a red marker up this way, but oh yeah, right there on, on that tree there is. Got our first road crossing. This is Pack House Road. I think this is the way we came in on. Yeah, Route 309 is up that way. So it looks like we are headed up this way. Yeah, so once again, it's pretty cool views. Way up there is the the environmental center where we parked. I think this is what they call the South Ridge. Yeah, check out the thorns on this tree. Wow, look at that. The whole cluster of them. <laughs> Just look at that. 
longer, longer my, as long, ouch, shit, I'm poke me there. As long as my finger. For sure there's a honey locust tree. It's got the big seed, long seed pods, look like big beans up there. Yeah, imagine running through the woods and running into one of those, so, yeah. Ouch. Kind of cool though, too. Yeah, so far the trail's just been all out in the open like this. So hopefully you can hear that, like that chipping or kind of like a chirping noise coming from in there. That is a chipmunk. I think there's several in here. I'm trying to I'm trying to see if I can see them. Maybe we'll zoom in on him, but I don't see him yet. Well, I can hear him, but I can't see him in there. It's too overgrown. They're kind of hard to see usually anyway. I feel like I see them every now and then, but it's just a bump on the logs. All right, maybe we'll see another one. Yeah, check out all the super bright bugs on that milkweed pot. I'm gonna try and zoom in. Hopefully it focuses nicely. Yeah, they're brightly colored bugs. I think those are milkweed beetles, is what they're called. Let's see if we can zoom in just a little bit more. Oops, blurs out. And hey, what you guys doing? Yeah, here's a bunch more of those milkweed pods. Much more than we're covering those little boogers. But yeah, let's check out these berries. Big, bright, purplish colored berries. These are poke berries. Of course, the stalks are kind of purple too, but these are poisonous. They're not deadly poisonous. You'd have to eat a lot of them to actually suffer the consequences, but they are poisonous nonetheless. However, if you do <laughs> accidentally eat one, you won't. If you just eat a couple, you're not going to. You're not gonna die though, but you should still avoid them. <laughs> Pokeberry. I think sometimes the very young leaves are edible. So I think they even eat them in the south a lot. I think they call it poke salad, but it's that's only when the leaves are very young. Any part of the plant that's purplish has that the poisons, the toxins in it. So unless you know what you're doing, you should probably just let the plant go. Kind of a neat area to hike, but I would like to get down in the woods down there, though. That'll probably happen here soon enough. It's one of those days where it's cool outside, but when you're out in the sun, it's just a little bit, a little bit warmer. Kind of has a cool look to it, though. Yeah, now we're headed into the woods and the temperature just drops. You can see remnants. This place used to be, you know, farmland. Got remains of an old fence here. And you can see the wiring there. There's old fence post and some, even like a roll of wire down there. So this, this area back here is probably a pasture at one point. I'm guessing. Big old hickory tree. Looks like a great spot to take a break, sit in the log. If we keep on going, I think we dip down so we can cross the creek and start turning north. But let's take a break first. You should be able to hear those birds screaming at me. Those are blue jays. They do a lot of that. <laughs> it's kind of their way of letting everything in the woods know that there's a big human creature. It's like an alert call. And unfortunately, this is the last hike for this pair of shoes. They have seen better days, so it's time to, to let them go. Kind of saw that this morning. I have spare hiking shoes, but I thought I'd be sentimental and give these guys one last hike before they're laid to rest. 
If this somehow gets too bad today, I did bring tape along, but this should be okay. We'll see. All right. Been a good pair of shoes, though. So remember that thorny tree I showed you earlier? Well, this one outdoes that. I mean, these are all thorns. That's my hand there. Wow. And check out, gotta be careful, check out that one right there. That's a giant thorn. Look at these suckers. I want to touch them, but I don't want to get poked too bad. But yeah, look at those things. All on this tree. They're one of these honey locust trees. Man. That is gnarly. <laughs> I guess a good word to use. Wow. You know, those thorns are kind of a they're kind of an interesting feature, a cool feature, but it's kind of the stuff of horror movies too, you know. Someone's running through the woods, you know, running from a you know, a, a, some creature or the bad guy, and they you know face plant right into that side of that tree. That would that would be it. Well it may not kill you, but <laughs> yeah. lose an eye or two. <laughs> That's for sure. One of these boardwalks. I always enjoy walking on these. And I believe our stream is just ahead here. That's where we will turn north. Start heading north along the west side of the preserve. I'll show you. In a little bit I'll show you on the map where we are. It looks like we have a road crossing down here too. Here's the stream. Having to do it just a little bit of a road walk here. And just like that, then we have our little red arrow on the post there. So I'll quick show you our progress here on the map. Of course, we parked right here at the education center, actually down there. We made it all the way down here. Right here is that stream crossing, the road crossing. So we're right here now. We still have to go all the way back up and around yet. So we got quite a ways to go yet, but we got a good chunk of it done this side. Yeah, here's an interesting tree. It's got those huge leaves. This is a catalpa tree. They have beautiful flowers in the spring. Then they grow these huge, long, bean-like things. Look, there's my hand. You can see how long that thing is. They have a, there's a, another name for these things. Indi Indian bean or something like that? I forget. But yeah. I think the Indian Native Americans use them for something, but they're interesting. They're super, super long. Like, you know, super long string beans. Got this beautiful section here. A little stream down below. Looks like there's a covered bridge up ahead. There's a road just over there. Question is, are we gonna cross that covered bridge? That'd be awesome. Then you can kind of get a glimpse of it through there. We're headed that way. Yeah, down there's our stream again. There's our red trail mark. sure where because here's our bridge but I just want to see where the trail actually goes okay so our trail does go that way but uh, let's go across the covered bridge Geiger's Bridge 1860 all the little covered bridges I mean check out the 
these beams of wood are just massive. Beautiful. So farewell to the covered bridge, and we'll continue this way. There's a trail that goes across the creek too, but we'll go this way because I think our trail, our border trail, goes, takes us a left up here somewhere too. Oh yeah, here's a map. Huh. Yeah, last time I checked in with you map-wise, we, we just crossed the creek because up here's where we start. So we came all the way down here. Now we're up here at the covered bridge. So we just gotta go up a little ways and our trail comes up this way. So I just came down that section of the trail and I almost walked past these. I have not seen these in ages. These are butternuts. These are delicious. We had, growing up on the farm, we had one, but it died. They, a lot of them succumbed to a, a disease. These are delicious. I have not seen a butternut in ages. They look a lot like walnuts, but they're much more oblong. So I am, I'm taking some of these home, so yeah, butternuts. So the tree must be around here somewhere. Check this out, you got some water just gushing out of the hillside here. Oh, someone put like a little gnome up there. Bog. Oh, just saw that. Yeah, but up here is where our red blazed border trail goes off to the left. And so shall we. Yes, yeah, so the trail just made a steep ascent out of that valley. Time to find rest stop number two. And it's also about just about one o'clock, so time to start thinking about lunch. Even as butternuts, <laughs> I know they may not mean much to some people, it's, but it's one of those childhood memories. A butternut tree right next to the lane, just across, across from the barn. So I love eating those. It never produced a ton, and then one year it just kind of died. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it's the first time I found butternuts in years, at least out in the wild. I think they suffered from some kind of disease that kind of spread through the forest, affected the butternut trees. All right, yeah, look at what we got here. Whole, whole bunch of chicken mushrooms. These are sulfur chicken mushrooms. Beautiful. These are edible. I think I'll just leave them here though. Yeah, they do not have tear a piece off. They do not have gills underneath. It just pours. But yeah, that's beautiful. Hey, look, see how big they are. Wow. Yeah, so those are the sulfur chicken mushrooms. There's also one called the white chicken mushroom. They both are edible, but as always, don't just take my word for it. Don't find them. a mushroom that looks similar to that and just eat it. Make sure you, you ever do eat edibles? Make sure you add up wild edibles. Make sure you do your own research first. Or just taking the word of someone on YouTube or anywhere else on the internet. Could cost you your life. Back out in the open again. Yeah, I, th I think I said this was an eight mile trail, but I'm gonna start to think, if I remember correctly, it might have been, this might be a nine mile trail. I'll have to double check that when I get home. It's nice to have, there's all these changes in scenery. You're out in the open, down in the woods, up on the ridge, down by the stream, back out in the open again. It's kind of a nice change every now and then. So I found a great spot for lunch here, underneath this tree. Yeah. Nice place to sit, have lunch. Yes, yeah, a perfect place to sit and have lunch. Yeah, and it is eight and a half miles the whole trail. I'll just check my map. It does have like mile markers on the map. And there are mile, mile markers along the trail too. 
I just forgot if it was eight or nine, but eight and a half. But we gotta get going. I don't think I'm even quite halfway done yet. Getting close, but like I said, no rush. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Yep, goodbye, beautiful lunch spot. And we'll head on out again. Okay, so this just caught my eye. I saw that out there first. A little bit here, just down from my lunch spot. I think that is a giant puffball mushroom. Oh my goodness, this is the biggest puffball mushroom I've ever seen. It almost looks like a big pumpkin. Whoa! My shadow's in the way there. Whoa, that is. This is a puffball mushroom. Look at that. Look at that thing. That is monstrous. I gotta get a picture of that. Look at that thing. <laughs> That's monstrous. All right. <laughs> like a drum. That is awesome, man. Yeah, that is the biggest mushroom I've ever seen. I mean, we just saw that big pile of chicken mushrooms, but that was a whole colony. This is just one giant single puffball, a giant puffball. Wow, super awesome. All right. <laughs> That's what that one right there is. It's a slightly smaller one, but now it's a big one in and of itself, too. Looks like someone busted that one open, though. All right. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, check this out. We got a pretty awesome bridge. Wasn't expecting this. Or do we go that way? Yeah, that is the... Yeah, I just saw a trail down this way too. But, uh... Got a red blaze for the border trail right there in that post, so... <clears throat> Wow. Looks like some interesting foundations out there in the water. You know, logs or something. Beautiful spot, though. Looks like we're probably gonna be going up that hill next. Yeah, every now and then along the trail, about every half mile, they have a sign here. It has to do with in case of emergency, letting people know where you are, but four mile 4.5. So I'm a lot of breath going uphill. So that means I have four and a half miles to go yet. So eight and a half, so we've come four miles. So not quite halfway yet. Another quarter mile will be halfway. Yeah, another steep climb. Whew. So to get some views again though. Actually, I think way up there on top of that one hill is the environmental education center where we started. Looks like we flatten out a bit here though. Well, I was wrong about the trail. Flattening out. Need a turn and back uphill. Yeah, in interesting terrain. Because the trail just brought us up. It looks like we're going down again. I don't know. It looks like that might be the trail down there and going there. And is it going back up again? Up that side. So, wow. I think that's what we're doing. Going down. 
Going back up, maybe. Unless this, unless I'm looking at their trail, but I think I see, yeah, I think that's what we're doing. All right. But yeah. Not your typical Pennsylvania landscape. All right, so just a little bit of a map update. We are currently right, right here. Right here's the blue trail. And that is the blue trail going up. We just came from back that way. And right there, there's switchbacks that I just, we just looked at. And actually, the blue trail is a trail that we saw way up on the other hill there. So we won't be going up that way. We're, we're going to keep going up along this little valley for quite a while. We just passed the, the other mile marker back there, so we've got just under four miles to go. Got some more mushrooms along the trail. These are those coral mushrooms. Look pretty cool. They get, they're starting to get a little old, but they're beautiful too. A little patch of them. I think there's some more up here. Yeah, look at this. Pretty cool. Only 3.5 miles to go. <laughs> Tell you what though, I'm starting to feel it. Might be time to find another little shaded break spot. Yeah, I got our map here. Yeah, last time we were down here, the blue trail, now we're all the way up here, the yellow trail. So we got this little loopy loop thing. So we got, I think our map's in here too. All right, so check this out. There's like a little spring house off trail here. Guessing that's what it is. Let's go check it out. Yeah, I mean, something like that maybe. Looks pretty dry inside though. Well, now we got some views. It's kind of out in the open here. All the way back this way. Yep, that way in the distance is the Blue Mountain. Appala Appalachian Trail runs atop, along the top of that. Whew. Beautiful. The trail keeps going that way. Looks real nice, but check out this bench location. Wow. I think I will partake of it for a bit. That butterfly. I'm trying to remember offhand what that is. You know, those big spots, sort of scare away birds, you know, they resemble eyes. I feel like I should know the name, but anyway, I'll look it up when I get home. It's beautiful. Yeah, this part of the trail is beautiful. Check out the goldenrod with those beautiful purple flowers, which I think, I think this is some kind of aster. Yeah, but we're on the north, that north part of the trail. This, this part has been nice and flat and pretty easy going. Check it out, there's a hummingbird in there. Oh, he flew off. Look at that map here. Hey, we're right here. This is that nice flat section. Still got a little ways to go yet. <laughs> Down to here. So it looks like you know, 0.5, 1, 1.5. So maybe like two miles yet. Yeah, hopefully I caught a little bit of that hummingbird on camera. I haven't seen one of those recently. Yeah, I like this section of the trail, nice and flat. Some of those other sections had a lot of ups and downs, but that is the terrain. Oh, 
like I said, I'm starting to feel it a little bit, but we got some energy left yet. Yeah, there's the two mile marker. All right, we can do this. It's actually cooled down. Got cloudy, breeze blowing. All right, we've come down out of the fields. Got a road crossing. Some pleasant woods over there, it looks like. Walk in the shade a little bit, but yeah, here's our other, another map. Checking where we are. Right up here, looks like we're about to just head down this last section here. Cause here's the bison. Maybe we'll get a, it looks like the trail goes right past, so maybe we'll get a peek at them. Cause down there's where the elk were. Oh no, no, that's the deer enclosure. Where were the elk were? Anyway, maybe we'll get a view of the bison. Look at that, one mile. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure just right over in there is where the, the bison are. I remember we walked down that road last spring. I mean, we're all kind of down just in here in, this, in that woods up there. So maybe we'll get a glimpse of them. Unless they move to another paddock. Not seeing anything. Yeah, I think they were all just in there last time. Well, somebody's screaming up there. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, no bison today. Alright, well our trail goes up this way, so. Kind of hoping to get a glimpse of them again. They're big, majestic animals. Looks like it's all downhill from here. Past the half mile marker, just a little ways back, so. Almost there. I am beat. It's a long eight and a half miles. Get home and warm up some chicken nuggets, I think. <laughs> Relax. Yeah, just a few more views. Right down there's the, the parking area. Yeah, I think you can walk up to the education center and get a pretty awesome view, but I think we got some views <laughs> today. So as always, thanks for coming along. There was a little bit more of an uphill. It wasn't all downhill back there, but yeah, that last half mile seemed a little bit long. That's the way it is sometimes. All right, I'm beat. It was a, it's a good workout, but I'm hungry, thirsty. I have a little bit of water left, but yeah. If you do this hike, just be prepared. Bring plenty of water. Make sure you have plenty of time. All right, as always, thanks for coming along, and I will see you around.